All right, my apprentice has done it again. She's dropped a, <laughs> dropped her favorite Pluto uh, figurine, which is made of some sort of really fragile acrylic. This has already been glued up once before, so let's see what we can do with this. Now, I used to glue hearing aids together with uh, Loctite 406. I'm not sure exactly what formulation this is, but it's very close. So we're literally just going to use a tiny bit um, on this little bit here and on the knee here. This is our test piece. Just a little bit here. And I'm going to breathe on them. Just add a little bit of moisture into it. Helps make it that little bit more tacky. And uh, we are going to try and find the exact fault line here and get it to fit exactly there. I've got a little bit too much glue so there is a little bit of a bead around here but uh, we're not going for looks in this. That should hopefully stay there. We'll see how we go. This one could be trickier. This will be interesting. There is Pluto's head does go at a funny angle on this and it was already slightly out of skew from the last time I had to glue this. That looks like that's the way it goes there. So, single drop here. I know this is probably boring stuff that you probably don't, um, probably not in keeping with my usual channel stuff. Breathe on it each time and try not to breathe in because super glue is nasty stuff to breathe in. Now, a lot of you might suggest I use bicarb soda or an accelerator spray or something like that. I like to let this set because the crystals it forms are bigger and longer and the bond is better with these things. Um, rather than with the accelerator spray and it would also make these little uh, seams here considerably more prominent. Now, hopefully there is enough parts here to fill in. I've got to work out which one of these is the right one. So that is probably not it. That potentially is it. This is going to be difficult to uh, reinsert, I think. I'm going to have to do a bit of thinking about how we might get this in here. All right, I found the correct side to go in here. I'm going to just apply just a tiny amount to each surface here, and I'm not going to apply it to the part going in there, um, just so I don't stick it to my fingers. Now, this is going to be the tricky bit I may need. I would say tweezers, but I'm going to use pliers. Now, can we get this in here before the glue sets? Perhaps not. Don't have a lot of working time with super glue. Ideally, I'd use epoxy if this wasn't going to look horrible. So we've got that one in there. That's good. Let's see if we can get this one in. Where are we here? This one will probably slot in there, but it's going to be tricky. How are we going to get you in there? I could end up just choosing my battle and accept that being a little subpar in there. I don't know. I don't want to have to break it or modify the shape because it'll probably never quite go in the same again, although that might already be the case. Um, Yep, I'm going to do this off camera. Right, sometimes there's only so much you can do, but I've got it glued in like that. We are going to have a slight step. I guess I can probably, once that's glued, I can probably shave that down a bit and treat it with a little bit of black nail polish. Make it look much the same. I may not worry too much about it. I'll give this a week and see if she busts it again. If she doesn't, I might look at restoring that ear a little bit. But uh, we're making the best of what we can. So yeah, gluing a Pluto statue back together. Hopefully that was interesting. We'll move on to longer form factor stuff fairly soon.